in the middle of a cornfield. Corn is very important to Nebraska. It is so important that even our, we call ourselves the corn husbands. Every year we raise over 1 billion acres of corn and we rank number three in corn production across the United States. Corn production is a huge part of Nebraska's agriculture. Corn provides for people every day. It provides um, us with our food, fuel, and even some ingredients in some products like lotion or fireworks or even our toothpaste. The majority of corn raised in Nebraska um, is used to store our cars and feed our livestock animals. You guys will all have opportunities to ask our farmer questions today. And the way questions will work is I will call on a teacher, uh, and the teacher will select a student to come up to camera, uh, introduce themselves, and then um, ask their questions, and then you can return to your seat. Um, and so today we are going to learn more about agriculture um, and more about how science, engineering, math, and technology work on um, with my friend Farmer Tim. All right, this is my friend Farmer Tim. that little thing down below. Hello. Tim, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how you got started with farming? Yeah. I was raised on a farm, it's a family farm, on the third generation to be working on it. And I've been on here in 50 plus years here working on the same property. And I've just been raised around it and still enjoying them. Still enjoying them. So, Dave, um, how did you learn to farm? I learned just by basically working with my father and family on a regular basis and also a few neighbors. But I was raised on it, so I learned my whole life. I was in the process of learning. No, you don't have to, but it's very advantageous to do that. Very beneficial. So I would highly recommend it, yes. Do you use science, engineering, technology, or math on your farm? Science is very prominent in agriculture nowadays. Also, in recent years, with all new technology advances, it really became part of agriculture. This is an agriculture is a hot item right now. What's your favorite thing about being a farmer, Tim? I enjoy the variety of my job. Different seasons, we have multiple seasons and different varieties of growing the crops and everything else involved. All right. We're going to take a couple of questions. Does um, this, or St. Thomas for a Miscarriage class have any questions for us? Yes, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to keep doing that. Mrs. Hoff has been in here. You can unmute your microphone. We have tried. Do you see? I Like, I know it's saying that, but I have the volume up. And okay. so we don't know. Can you go ahead and ask that question one more time? Click it and say we can't hear. Click that thing. Click what? Control of those. You need to mute it. You need to write, but what about it? Can you hear? Can you hear us? Yes. 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 Yep. Yes. Okay. You're so All right. Really hard to Does Miss Sherry's class have a question that they would like to ask us? Uh, are you gonna? She was wondering what jobs did you do when you were younger on the farm? Good question. We used to have lots of livestock. We used to feed the pigs and cattle and chickens. And we used to pull the cow weeds out by hand in the field. And numerous mowing and also hay baling is a very common job back then. We just throw stack of hay bales and haul them in the barn. Did you help your um, dad harvest corn then? Yes, I was in helping my dad out of storm, starting just right along for many years, and eventually I got in the driver's seat. All right. Thank you for your question. Do we have a question from um, Wheeler Elementary with Miss um, Needy's class? There we are. Okay. 
Did you have a question that you would like to ask former Tim? somebody else and we'll keep listening. Perfect. Sounds great. We're going to go ahead and continue here. But Tim and I are in a combine and he is going to explain how corn harvest works. But before we can do that, we need to know a little bit more about corn. Corn is planted in the spring every year and there are several different types of corn seeds that a farmer can plant. One type of corn seed they can plant is sweet corn. Another is white corn, which we use for corn chips or Fritos. And the other corn we can plant is popcorn, but most of the corn we plant in Nebraska is called field corn. And we use field corn to feed a lot of our livestock animals and for fuel as ethanol in our fuel industry. Farmer Tim, what kind of corn do you plant on your farm? This is yellow corn, yellow field corn. So who, what, what's the purpose of that corn? The biggest use of this corn will be livestock feed and ethanol production. All right. When you planted this corn this spring, what did you do while it was growing over the summer? I, I ch checked the fields every few weeks to make sure they were free of diseases and insects and also for weed control of it. Okay. How do you know when your corn is ready to be picked? Well, we kind of see this time of year, you see the brown stalk and the ears will be hanging down and you'll just see how, it's, how brown it is and mature looking. Okay. Um, do they also have dents on the um, kernels? Yeah. So the ears of corn here will have, the ears of corn will be dented. The dented corn, each kernel will have a dent on the top center. And that's just a sign of maturity. It shows you the dryness of it. Okay. How tall does the corn get? The corn stalks usually become over 10 foot tall. And, wow. That's a lot. Um, really tall. How many ears are there on, and, um, how many ears of corn are on one corn plant? Each stalk has one ear of corn. They can't have more of it. One stalk, one ear is very common. Okay, we'll take a couple more questions. Um, I see Mrs. Sherry's class has another question they would like to ask. Would you go ahead and ask your question, Ms. Sherry? Do you have any animals on your farm or do you just have crops? Can you repeat that question one more time for us? Do you have animals on your farm or just crops? You raised more than one crop? Yeah. Yes, I raised two crops, soybeans and field corn. And I rotate them every other year. So with field corn this year will be soybeans next year. Then coming back the third year will be corn again. Okay, thank you. Ms. Sozal class, do you have a question that you would like to ask Farmer Tim? Mm -hmm. How many how many corn stalks how many corn stalks do you plant? We we plant per acre. We plant twenty eight thousand seeds per acre. So every seven inches in a row is a corn stalk. Every seven inches, the rows are thirty inches apart. Every seven inches will be a corn plant. An acre of corn is about the size of a football field. All right. Good question. Thank you. Thank you. Now that we know how corn grows, we can learn more about how it is harvested. Farmers harvest their corn in the fall. There are a lot of different parts of the combine on the inside and the outside. We are on the inside of the combine today because it's really cold outside and it was snowing just a moment ago. 
On the inside of the combine, I'm going to turn our camera around. On the inside of our combine, you will see the steering wheel. We have the heaters. We also have all of the controls. Farmer Tim, what does that computer do? The computer tells me how many acres I've harvested a day, how many hours I've been in the field, what it is producing per acre, the moisture content, and how much I've done, quantity of the weight, the total pounds, total bushels. It also has a field map. It's the little arrow here shows you where we are still right now. The dark area is what I've previously found by in this field. So it tells you the mapping. It shows you what I've done and where we are in location in the field. So you use a lot of technology in your combine. Very much so. It's touch screen like you get to play with. It's touch here and you get two different screens. It shows you what, what all you want to see. Wonderful. We're going to take a look outside of the combine now. And this is what it looks like sitting in the front seat of the combine. And you can see um, the front of the combine. What do you call those things, Tim? The point of the front is a snoot. That's what goes in between your corn rows and directs the corn stalks into the, the stripper plates, which is, comes in the rows in the head. Okay. What do they do? They're cutting, there's uh, the rolling knives that actually cut stalks off. Okay. And it brings the ear into the auger area. Right there. there. Yeah. Okay. We'll turn it on here. We can see the demonstration. You can see how it moves. You can see the, the gathering chain will bring it in or bring the auger into the separator unit. That's the front of the combine. That's your head. Okay. How many of those are, how many feet are there on the combine? This is a six row corn head. So they are in different sizes, but I have a Six rows that cut at one time. Okay. And we saw how they cut the corn. Behind us, you'll see in that window, that's where all the corn goes when it gets um, cut into the combine. How does the corn get from the field to back there? Underneath this, there's a separator unit. It's a rotor going around in a circle with a cage around it. And it separates the kernels from the cob. Here you'll see the cob and the kernels, and it separates it off like this. And you get your kernels, and after we collect, and a cob to come out the back end, that goes back to the field as the, as the waste, which is that becomes fertilizer residue. Okay, so it becomes fertilizer. Do you put cattle on your fields during the wintertime? I do not, but it is very common to see cattle in the grass and corn fields. Okay. But then behind us that we saw previously can hold 200 bushels of corn. And a bushel of corn is how much or how a farmer measures his cap, and it weighs about 56 pounds per bushel of corn. Once the bin behind us um, is full, it will empty using the auger on the combine to fill the grain cart. What could slow down harvest, Tim? Well, today we had a little weather, a little bit of snow. We thought we'd be slowing us down and stopping us, but as soon as it dries off, we could go. And we'll demonstrate a little bit for you here. We'll go on the field and come in a little bit. Okay. Show you. The weather is the biggest rain and snow, the biggest foot on you have. Sunny days are good for harvest. Perfect. What is um, important? Why is it important to get the corn out of the field in a timely manner? Because of winter coming in, once the snow comes on the ground, it's hard to get the tractors and trucks in the field because it's slippery, and also you don't want the snow to come into your separator machine, and this causes lots of problems to your machine. You want to harvest the corn dry for storage purposes, so it will, will not spoil. Okay. Will you harvest any other crops this year? Yes, I have soybeans also. I harvest two crops, corn and soybeans. Okay, did you harvest soybeans already this year? Yeah, I did my soybeans first. Typically, we combine soybeans first, but we don't have to. It's just how it worked out this okay. year. We'll take a couple more questions, um, if anyone has any. Um, does anyone from St. Thomas More, um, this, this class, have any questions for us? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hold on. We have a question. Yeah. Do you use center pivot irrigation for your corn? Me? I personally do not. We're in the eastern part of Nebraska. We're lucky we get rainfall here. We don't. The majority of Nebraska doesn't have irrigation on their field. Yeah. All right. Do you have another question? Yep, they all see you right now. Wheeler Elementary, Mrs. Oliver's classroom. Can you say it one more time, Lala, dear? Like how many ears of corn grow on a stalk? How many ears of corn grow on a stalk? Each stalk has one ear of corn. They can't have more, but typically every stalk has one ear. So if we look, I'll turn this camera around and we can see, you can see out in the corn field there, you can see the different, um, the stocks of corn and each one has one ear of corn on it. Wonderful. All right. Does, um, you know, um, this is, um, Craig D. Hansen's class have any questions for us? Yes, we definitely have some questions here. Let me pick somebody. Um, Melanie. Just say it out loud. Do, do, do you have to know a lot about plants to farm? Do you have to know a lot about plants to farm? Yes, it does help. We learn by year over year. Every year I'm still learning more about the plants. Yes. It helps to know what fertility you need, what nutrients is short of to make up that difference, the efficiencies of the plant. Yes, very helpful. Did you want to show them, do we want to combine? All right, we're going to show you, Farmer Tim is going to get the combine ready and you're going to harvest um, a little bit of corn for you to see how it works. All right. Just put the camera on me when I engage all the, yes. when I engage it all. All right. You can see he's getting ready. He's using his controllers. So this button here, toggle switch, engages the separator. This engages the head. Your stone. And it's going. Have a full throttle it. Get some RPM. Full power. My right hand here. My right hand. Yes, we have a question. Nice and loud, Daphne. Shout out. Um, how many ears of corn 
do you harvest per minute? Do you know how many ears of corn you harvest per minute? Do you know how many ears of corn you harvest per minute? Per minute? Oh. I harvest 28,000 years per acre, so I divide that by 10. I said 10 minutes per acre approximately, so. Wow. Thank you. Um, do we have any uh, more questions out there? If you have a question, um, please come up to the front. Um, you can take one from the state office for if you have any questions. We want to know how you learned to drive a combine. Did you I learned, I sat in Brooks seat for many years, just watched it, and eventually I just got the seat and took over. If you look down here, you can see that there's seat pedals, uh, the brakes, and the gas. Yeah. All right. So most of everything's in your hand control.
got a truck and wagon here, we'd unload it. And I'll put the auger up and see. Here comes the swinging auger out. Swinging auger out. That's your unloading auger. The wagon out here, we stuff it in the wagon there, all the truck. Yeah, I'll move back in when you're not using it. Go out of the way. I'll put it back out. It pulls out. And the truck pulls alongside you. Pull the way. That's the unloading. How much water does it take to water his crops all year? Yeah, typically we get um, 28 inches of or 30 inches of rainfall in this part of the state of Nebraska, but that's all depending on what weather gives you. So, so the land around here in Springfield, um, you don't have to, you don't need a lot of irrigation to help water because we get plenty of rainfall, is what you're saying? Yes, yeah, all natural rainfall here. Okay. We do not, none of man, man applied is none of it. Okay, I think on average, every year of corn requires about four and a half cups of water per stock every year in order to, for that plant to grow. So in other parts of the state where they would have to water, they would have to make sure their plants are getting four and a half cups of water the whole entire growing season. And so the growing season is from the middle of April or May into um, October. All right, let's take one more question from, let's see here. I see Miss Navy's hands are up in her classroom. Her question or ask a question. All right, let's have you. Maya, nice and long. Shout it. How many trucks do you have? How many trucks do you have, and what is the cost of owning a big machine like that? Great question. A uh, new pound bike it costs the same as a house almost. It's crazy. So yeah, a new combine, I don't know, it could be three, four thousand dollars. I don't even know for sure. This is a used one. And I have two tractors with grain carts on them, and my neighbor does my trucking. My neighbor has one semi that he used to haul the corn into the city. How how big would you say this combine is? This combine is fourteen foot tall and it's thirty four feet long. So it's pretty big. If you would stand down at the bottom where the wheels are on the combine. The wheels would be way taller than us. All right. Today we got to meet with our farmer, Tim, and he grows um, corn that can be used to feed our livestock cattle or um, to produce um, ethanol for um, Nebraska and um, the agricultural industry. And he, um, although the weather um, wasn't the greatest, he had the opportunity to actually see some corn harvest today. And so when Tim's done here, he's going to have to unload his combine put it um, and empty it into a grain cart so that he can take it to the co-op to sell to other farmers and ranchers to use for the um, for the fuel or to feed their livestock animals. And we also got to learn a little bit more about how science and technology, engineering and math all play a part in farmers and job on his farm. Would you like to say anything else? Yeah, I'm glad to share this with you guys. I got to well, you see here, I have a buddy you see here. I enjoy having people right along with me, and I enjoy having a great experience I have out here. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today, and have a great rest of your day. See you later. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Love Oh, there we go.
Oh, no. 